Hello everybody, I hope that you are doing very well and welcome back to another cryptocurrency technical analysis where in today's video I'm going to be going over the rise in price that we are currently seeing right now on Bitcoin and where price is likely to be heading over the holiday period. So I hope that you thoroughly enjoy this one and let's just get straight into it as we see Bitcoin currently still rising. Uh, so uh, yeah, let's, let's firstly go over why this you know rise in price has happened, okay? And I really honestly believe that it was formed because of this double top, okay? So you have to think of the cycle psychology behind the trades and it's not just focused on the chart but that think what's going on here okay in my opinion when we formed this double top okay when this double top was formed you get so many traders bearish okay because textbooks are going to tell you and I'm referring to the double top seven seven thousand two hundred and thirty when you see a double top you know the textbooks etc are going to say well that's where the resistance is so you can safely be entering into your shorts with stop loss above the double top because that's where the resistance is if broken price is going higher so obviously you're contained within here for a few days. Price is drawn, in my opinion, drawn towards that liquidity with all the stops rate, you know, placed that you have to envision. Price is going to go up and push up and take that liquidity. Uh, and that's exactly did what happened. You know, that's exactly what happened. Sorry, apologies for my English there. If you would like to pause the screen and read through that prediction that I made in my, to my group, uh, which traded exactly as predicted, then you can pause the screen and read through this. Now, I even... We even thought that we would move down to touch the weekly before moving up and we did move down touch weekly open quite a few times but obviously once here twice here uh, before seeing the rise in price and that refers to you know I was actually already in a long position aiming for 7,300 obviously we've gone through that but profits are profits um, uh, yeah I was looking for 7,300 and this was obviously in, you know, expanding on the tweet that I made this morning that although on the macro since June, we've obviously been heading down and down and down in price. But just because price on the macro is going down does not mean you cannot take longs and make money going long on a downtrend. Absolutely not. As I say here, as long as you have patience with your entries, OK, and my patience is obviously waiting for that weekly level. Uh, in confluence with the 618. Okay, so as long as you have patience waiting for your entries on a long and you're not greedy with your profit taking targets, you can absolutely make money uh, in, a, in a macro downtrend by longing, okay? Uh, so let's just let's just make that very very clear as long as you don't hold a bias don't think i'm only shorting i'm only longing just just trade the trend for what it is you know take the plays when the setups are there uh and the money comes naturally let's be honest the money will just hope hopefully for you as well come naturally um so that's all i wanted to say about this like you know yeah there we go so we're currently sat at 7330 so some next key levels for me okay so let's go over the key levels um that if so what we can see here on the shorter term is old resistance okay so old resistance flipped into support okay so we get this old resistance flipped to support so bulls have successfully okay they have successfully defended this they have successfully defended this and will now look to push up higher okay so we can see the high of this wick coming in 7370 that's likely gonna get a bit of a reaction Okay, so we've got 7,370 pushing up to the weekly next resistance, 7,512, which is going to be a very, very important level. If bulls manage to reclaim that too, then we can be looking up for 7,800, which I truly believe is a very, very, very pivotal level in this chart. If bulls can claim 7,800, we can look to be pushing up for much higher prices out of the scope of this video but we can be looking for higher you know higher prices towards you know uh 618 boundaries of the overall move that we're currently in so that that would be very impressive if that is to play out what we have to say on the short term there's there's still no there's no guarantee that we cannot just do this okay and this is obviously where you have to be monitoring order flow volume to get indications of whether you know there's the strength to continue pushing up here which again is outside of the scope of the video that i'm making right now uh, but yeah, I would just say for for helping, if we push, if we do manage to push up here, you have to be aware of the seven thousand five hundred resistance. Okay, seven five twelve exactly for the weekly, but that could get front run, and seven thousand eight hundred because that is very 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 pivotal level. Okay, of whether you reject there or you actually push above and hold it. That's so pivotal. Uh, and on the flip side, if this does play out along these sort of lines, where well, we do get a push and then you know head down. Um, then what you're going to be looking at is your, well, you obviously got 7717 7, weekly open. And then you've got your next support, major support down at 6.9. Okay, 6.9, obviously the monthly that we bounced off of to start all this move up. 6,383. So a bit of a wider range, obviously. I, I think this will probably be my last video before Christmas. So, um, 
yeah, those are the levels that I'll be looking at uh, if and when we, you know, when we get there. If you're interested tonight, I am doing a live trading stream. So if you actually want to trade this along with me, then you can join me tonight for a Champions live stream where I will be, you know, live trading this. Uh, but I think that is everything that I wanted to actually cover here uh, in terms of the trades that I've taken. Um, oh, you can pause this as well, by the way. Uh, that, that made me laugh, I think. <laughs> yeah, but uh, I think that's actually everything that I wanted to cover here. Uh, and I would, I will end actually with this, a two minute note, a two minute note on this, that please do not think, take any of what I've covered today as bragging, it's, it's, I'm, I really am not bragging here, you have to think, first, well firstly I'm a very competitive person, I always want to win, so when I win, yeah, I guess I'm a little bit big headed maybe, uh, a bit of an ego, but um, I, I really am not trying to brag by showing you some of these predictions I make. It is so you can get into my mind and see how I'm doing it, okay? So you can actually hopefully learn. Instead of being jealous, okay? Because I think a lot of people are. Instead of being jealous, why don't you try and listen to what I'm saying and, and truly learn from that, okay? And that way, instead of saying, oh, this guy just keeps posting about wins, well, make some wins with me. How about that? Uh, so I think that's all I would like to say on that. And also, um, yeah, the, the guy kind of takes it out of my mouth, like, the, takes my words out of my mouth, like, hence why I've retweeted this, because, uh, you know, if anyone's gloating, it should be the members of the group um, that are doing very well, let's just say about that. And the second point that I'd like to very quickly touch on is about the people that say that I don't post any losses. Firstly, firstly, if I'm very honest, I don't take too much losses on Bitcoin. That's not to say that I don't lose because I lose. OK, I do lose trades, but I, I don't take an overly big amount of losses. Uh, and obviously, when I do so take some other losses, it's, this is referring to a comment that I received today. Uh, you just have to look back on my at my feed. And obviously, here was me posting about a loss and giving some education of, you know, the loss that I take, how I could, you know, have improved on that one, essentially. Um, yeah, so... Uh, yeah, a bit of calmness, I guess, uh, to just hope you haven't taken this video the wrong way. Although I'm trading it well, I'm definitely not uh, trying to brag or show off and or any of this sort of stuff. It is a little bit of a, a little bit, I guess, maybe. <laughs> but uh, yeah, that's essentially what I wanted to cover for you all today. Those levels also have just hit. Oh, so we have literally just hit the top of that wick and falling down. I'm going to wrap this up because I want to go and trade this. Uh, if you are interested, obviously, i got the Champions live stream tonight where you're more than welcome to come and join me and actually see me watch me trade this absolutely live in person while commentating the reasons for doing so. Uh, so I hope that you thoroughly enjoyed this one. Um, all I would say is have a please have a brilliant, brilliant Christmas. Just enjoy it with your family. Make someone happy, you know. Uh, there's so many things. Uh, just just have a brilliant one. I certainly will, I guess. <laughs> uh, so thank you, honestly, so much. It's been a great... I'll probably catch you before 2020, but I would just say unlikely before Christmas. So have a, have a really good one. I will be going straight into trading this. If you want to see the updates in real time, then I'll catch you in the group. Uh, if not, then I'll catch you in the next video that I make or over on Twitter as and when I sort of post these updates. So... Um, Thank you once again from the bottom of my heart. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you so much. Have a brilliant one, everybody, and I will catch you in the next one. Thank you and good night. <laughs> Cheers. Bye.